What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Retrograde time. Mossberg 590 retrograde pump. Heat shield. Hollow sun optic. Side saddle. Magpul sling. Bayonet lug. Wood stock. Awesome butt pad. This thing's ready to go. Let's see what it can do. And let's see what it's all about. Now why would I buy this? Well, because it's cool. Another reason? Because it's cool. Why else? It's pretty cool. But seriously, it's one bad mamma jamma. Who can resist the heat shield? Who can resist this awesome wood furniture? Not me. Who can resist the bayonet lug? Not me. Who can resist being able to put all those rounds in a tube, one in the pipe, and then another one in the tube? We're talking eight plus one. You might have noticed that here. It's not your normal shotgun. This isn't grandpa's hunting shotgun. This isn't really a fun gun. This isn't a trap gun. This is a get the job done gun. Now this gun in this configuration right here, this is home defense all the way. If you're allowed to, this is keeping your vehicle for a truck gun all the way. I'm not allowed to do that in my state in this configuration, but this is one bad tool for your farm, for your property, for your house, for your whatever. To have nine in the gun, to have a side settle where you can put six more, to be able to have a red dot optic right here, a short compact situation here with a sling, you can turn corners pretty quick, easy peasy. Let's see it in action. So about 20 feet off target, home defense distances, what would we do? That's easy enough. Waiting for that front door to open. <laughs> I wouldn't want to come through it. A nice walk in the woods, and you're being stalked by plates. Not anymore. One for good measure. One more for fun. You need to get rid of old cans. It'll do it. You just want to have fun and look like Paul Harrell. And that's just the portion of the uses that this gun has. I would actually use this gun for hunting. With this red dot on here, it's pretty spot on. I'll show you some slugs here in a minute, what this can do. I mean, accurate, accurate, accurate. Really nice gun, really balanced gun. Like I said, side saddle, you can't beat that. You got your ammo right there, plus it's already high capacity. Now, if you're in a state that's restricted for hunting with slugs or something like that, you're gonna have to put a, whatever you, put a piece of dowel wood or whatever in there to limit it, but it's still a nice compact gun and you can hit pretty far out with that red dot. It's a classic and it's built like a classic. It's not like that plasticky junk. We have a video with our Remington 870, how it came out of the factory and for $500 and for $500 night and day. This is a nice gun. Heat shield, classic, can't beat it. Really nice gun. The optic is a Hollow Sun 407C. You usually find those on pistols. However, today we have it on a shotgun and it does the trick. Jerry Mitchlick uses these type of RMR style sights on his shotguns for three gun and he proves that they work well. So I follow a lot of what Jerry does. He's got a lot of good tricks and like he said, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying to win. So is this cheating for a shotgun? Kind of, but you're trying to win in a gunfight? Yep. Red Dot's awesome on long guns. I'm not a big fan of them on pistols, but here's the cool trick about this one. If for some reason your Red Dot goes out, right underneath here, you can still get to your gold bead. Some of you may ask, what do I have in the side saddle? Hornady Critical Duty Buckshot. And then the last one, Brennicky Black Magic. Everybody should have one Brennicky Black Magic on hand for God knows what, dinosaurs or bears or who knows what. In the beginning of the video, you saw a sling, but we had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction, so I took that off. Normally, I like to keep the sling on it. It's good to have a sling on just about all long guns, in my opinion. Now, what can you shoot out of this? Well, it's a cylinder bore, so wide open barrel the whole way. There's no choke in here at all. You can shoot whatever you want. It's not gonna pattern tight as a hunting gun for birds. I can tell you that right now. It's gonna open up pretty quick with any kind of bird shot, but we were just shooting bird shot for practice. It eats that just fine. It's a pump gun. It's gonna eat anything you give it. You control it. I don't know about mini shells. I don't really mess around with mini shells. Maybe you guys know about that in this gun. Leave a comment. Let me know if they work in here or not, but I just don't mess with them. Maybe one day I will. But practice stuff aside, and 
this is lethal at close range, so yes, you can use this if you don't have anything else, but what are we gonna use for actual defense? This is basically a defensive gun. What are we gonna use? We could use slugs. So here's some three inch slugs. Those are traveling at 1760, one ounce slug. That's a pretty bad boy right there. These Winchester PDX, now they call them defenders. They used to call them PDX-1. This is a slug with three pellets backed up in front or behind it. When it hits, it usually hits a nice little triangle. We're gonna pattern that and actually see how it comes out of this gun. Then we have critical defense. This is buckshot, except for it's got a little bit of a buffering agent in there to keep it together, I believe, at least it used to. So that's good buckshot. Any buckshot will do at close enough range, but the farther you get out as a target or distance you have to shoot, crappier buckshot will pattern crappier. It just will. So stick with a good brand of buckshot for home defense. Also, we've had things where some of the lesser known brands have had bulges in them and they actually don't feed into the chamber well because there's been a bulge in the case. So stick with a good name brand for the buckshot. Whatever it is, just make sure it's good stuff. Black Magics, this tests any shotgun. This lets you know what the recoil on the baddest slug is gonna be. So this is a three inch slug. It's made out of hard antimony lead and Brennicke really just made a crusher with this one. This is, they got a picture of a bear on here. I don't know, it's good for bears I'm sure, but anything in North America, this slug will do it. I'm gonna put this through this gun and this will probably kill my shoulder, but I'm sure it'll do fine. You keep this for all else has failed, that Black Magic, it'll crush it. Hornady Critical Defense, eight pellet buckshot at about 20 feet, right there on that white target. Let's take a look at that. I'm pretty sure all pellets landed right about here. That's a nice group. About 20 feet this time on the red guy. Let's take a look. I think our spread was right about in here. I don't think anyone off the plate, but we're gonna put this on paper just to count to make sure. So it's always fun to rock steel, but let's verify on paper if our pellets are where they're supposed to be. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna aim directly center of chest at this guy. When the trigger was pulled, the dot was directly in the center and I know that this gun is zeroed for just about this distance. So as you can see, the wad tore a hole right here. But other than that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight pellets landing all within the nine or 10 ring. Perfect patterning, perfect wound pattern density, I would say for that home defense distance right there. Really nice. We did it with a red dot, but you could achieve it with a bead sight, I promise you. Let's try a different type of defensive ammo. All right, Winchester Defender with a velocity of 1150. This is the slug with three pellets behind it. Again, about 15 feet. Let's see what we do against two different opponents. Let's take a look at the patterns. So on this one, we have a slug right here in the center. We have a pellet right there, a pellet right there, and a pellet right there. They form a perfect triangle. This guy, he's got a slug in the center, a pellet right there, a pellet right there, and a pellet right there. I highly recommend that ammunition. It always does that. Out of all my shotguns, it always does that. It's awesome. All right, I backed up a little bit. I'm 25 feet off that target. I'm gonna take my time to aim again, and we're gonna see how good of a pattern we can get. It'll probably open up just a hair because I backed up just a hair. Let's take a look. So I can promise you that this is part of the wadding or some kind of crap. That's another part of wadding or some kind of crap, but we have pellet, 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 slug. Jesus, that's a hell of a hole. Now, sometimes for defense or more than often hunting applications, you're gonna to wanna to go to a three inch shell. Sometimes the slugs in three inch, they can be a little bit of a butt whooper. Let's see how it feels through this gun and let's see if we get good accuracy on some steel. This is one ounce slug going at 1,760 feet per second. So now we're at 25 yards. This might simulate an actual hunting shot. It's definitely from a tree stand scenario or a blind. Three inches, let's see how it does. I like that, let's take a look. Really good accuracy and that's one heck of a slug. Put a nice little dent in that plate. And that's actually a really thick AR-500 plate, but I like the accuracy. I was aiming there, I got there, but hey, 
That's what you get out of smooth bore shotgun. And if you need to finish them off, there you go. So right there, about 75 yards out, you see that red plate. Now that would be a pretty long hunting shot, but let me see if I can take it standing, smooth bore shotgun, shortish barrel, 18 inch barrel. Let me see if I can do that with that same three inch slug. I hit something, let's go take a look. So right there, exactly where I aimed. Just kidding, I was aiming right there. But this gun zeroed for 25 yards with this dot and that's what I ended up with. Never taken that shot, but that's where I ended up with. This was some other stuff we were doing before with a previous gun. But uh, I guess I would have hit a person with a headshot if I needed to. I don't know if I would have got a good shot on a deer at that distance. So zero your red dots with your slugs at the distance you're going to shoot them at. Definitely really important. And now again at 25 yards, we are going straight beast mode now. This is Brennicky Black Magic. This is a 600 grain projectile traveling at 1500 feet per second out of the muzzle. It's another three inch projectile. It's nasty. It's horrible. This is the fun one. It started to inertial load for me. Let's go take a look. It actually felt really decent out of this gun and it hit right where we needed it to. Now that one went a little bit lower, but I honestly, I might've flinched a little bit because I know how nasty those things are. So I like it out of this gun. It's a lot better than it is out of a single shot. And actually it's better than it is out of the semi-automatic that I usually shoot it out of. That really didn't hurt at all. And that's a pretty mean slug. So yay, good combo again. Let's see if we can hit that long target with a black magic just for fun. So again, red target out there at 75 yards. Let's see if I can hit it with this red dot. I'm gonna aim center of mass again, and let's just see where it traveled. We definitely smacked it. Let's go see where it hit. Now that, that's pretty awesome. To get that kind of accuracy at 75 yards and that kind of accuracy we saw at 25 yards, I'll take that all day long. I really like that round. Again, another highly recommended round that seems pretty compatible with this gun. That's a smooth bore shotgun at 75 yards. We had a little bit of help here, but still, that's a deer round for sure. All right, we're at home defense distances again, 15 feet, and we got camera guy enlisted because he's the actual shotgunner of the group here. I'm an amateur on the shotgun, he's a pro on the shotgun. So now that I put all the pressure on camera guy, camera guy, how fast can you let nine of them rip? There we go. Let's go take a look at that target. If anybody's wondering how to take paint off of a target, definitely 12 gauge bird shot. Good job, camera guy. So as you can see, highly versatile shotgun, home defense shotgun, whatever you want around the farm, just a cool shotgun to have. Doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Now the, now the 590A1 version, that does cost a little bit more money, but this one, this one's affordable and it's good it's put together nice you can do whatever you want to it to make it personalized highly recommended and i don't bullcrap you guys i'm not sponsored by anybody mossberg didn't send me this gun i bought this gun with my own money and i'm highly recommending it that's the turkey's opinion hope you enjoyed this video hope to see you at the next video hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell so you know when we post videos thanks for watching until we see you next time stay safe have fun and keep shooting 12 gauges especially